purpose of this video is to give an overview of how to set up port forwarding on your DVR to allow external internet access into uh, your 32-way DVR. So what I'm going to do here um, in this particular setup, we're using an Aircom Netopia um, router, one of the old grey routers. We're chosen that because it's probably the most common uh, router on the market here in Ireland. Um, if you're using a different router than this, the settings will be the same, but the menus may well be different. And a good reference source here would be uh, portforwarding.com. It gives a very comprehensive list uh, of uh, routers on the market. So we start off now by uh, bringing up uh, typing in the IP address for a router. So we simply type in 192.168.1.254 and we bring up this menu here. So we click on Custom Services and if we look here, um, this is called NAT, uh, Network Address Translation. So it's basically port, port forwarding. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to arrow down into um, the list and we can see there's a huge range of services listed here and they correspond mainly to things like computer games etc. Now what we want to do is to, um, the, the create our own service specifically for our DVR. So define customer service here. So we si simply say that and it's, the first option here is port forwarding range of ports. So we'll say yes, we'll select that option next. So we're simply going to call this DVR32. Okay, and the port range here will be 81 Zero zero to eight one zero zero. Now, in terms of the base port here, the default one uh, would normally be eighty, but in our, uh, we know that that service has always already been used um, by another service. So that port's been used by another service. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to go with port number eighty-two. So we'll come along, and uh, we have um, uh, the protocol set at TCP. So we click this next and it tells us that NAT service has been added. So we know it's been successful now, so I've added on that service. So now what we have to go back to is to the original list and select that service. So we'll be at the very bottom of the list here. So we come along here and we simply click Enable. And it's saying to us, okay, well what select host device are we trying to choose here? Well, we're trying to choose the DVR here. So the IP address is this one here. So we simply come along, click Enable, and if we look at the bottom of the screen here, we're actually successfully selecting DVR32 server and it just gives the host IP address of the DVR. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to set up a port forwarding on your DVR or on your router for the 32-way DVR.